Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if your taskbar icons are not showing, invisible, they're missing, or they're just blank on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing we're going to do is open up the search menu, type in settings, best match, should come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. Select personalization on the left panel, and then on the right side, go down and select taskbar. And then go down to taskbar behaviors on the right. And where it says automatically hide the taskbar, make sure that it's unchecked. So make sure that's an empty box in there. And then you can go ahead and then you can close out of here. Open up the search menu, type in tablet mode. It's going to say choose when to show the touch keyboard. Go ahead and open that up. Where it says show the touch keyboard, click on the drop down, select never, and then you can just close out of here. Now, if you're still having a problem, open up the search menu, type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, best match, you'll come back to registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything would go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, all you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you'd have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward process on that. And now that that is done, we're going to begin. And we're going to start off by double-clicking on the HK Current User folder. Do the same thing now for the Software folder. So double-click on that. Should be a Microsoft folder. Double-click on it. Locate the Windows folder. Double-click on that as well. And there should be a Current Version folder right under here. Double-click on that. And then finally, locate an iris service folder right here so you want to right click on this folder select delete select yes and then once that is done you want to go close out of here and then proceed to restart your computer And there you go, guys. Hopefully that was a pretty straightforward process. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.